So in this recording I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the new Fusion Pages app. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to go down and get to the bottom of your Facebook page and create a page. So just click on the link that says create a page and Facebook will allow you to create a variety of different types of pages and so just choose one that kind of suits uh, your you know, your objective. So in this case we'll just make a company page and all we need to do is click and choose uh, a couple of um, pieces of data here and of course agree to Facebook's terms and conditions. Once I've done that I can click get started and at this point Facebook is going to take me through a series of steps to add a profile page, get some fans and add some basic data for this page. Now you can choose to do that now or you can choose to do that later. Um, for this example I'm just going to skip through this stage so we can focus on how to use the Fusion Pages app. So now that I've got to this page here um, you can see I've basically added a, a page now and so what I want to do is I just got to go to change this URL up here and go to Fusion Pages so that's uh, facebook.com forward slash fusion pages now I know you can't see the URL up here um, actually sorry I've just hyperlinked direct to the apps page I want to go to the Facebook fan page but so if you go to facebook.com forward slash fusion pages you will see down here now I think it should take you directly to this use fusion pages now page uh, if it doesn't uh, as it didn't with me but that's because I'm logged in as admin then just click the use fusion pages now button in the left hand menu and you will see here the page telling you about the app so as you can see here what we've got is a Facebook fan page creator that's which uses a drag and drag and drop technology and basically it enables you to create the content on your fan pages uh, without using any form of coding and you don't need to set up things like uh, SSL domains or provide any form of hosting because Fusion HQ uh, Fusion HQ takes care of that for you all you will need to do is click here to create a new page when you do that you'll see this pop-up show and then you can choose which page you want to add it to so here's the page that I created earlier Fusion HQ and so I can just click that and now I can add page tab now what's that that's doing is it's essentially activating this app onto that page now for those of you who are non techie don't worry about it basically all that means is that you can now edit your page using the Fusion HQ app now if I go back to my account, go back to the home page of Facebook and go down, you will see here, there we go, Fusion HQ. That's the page that I just created. You can see I didn't add any icon or anything like that. So if I click on that Fusion HQ page, now you will see uh, this is the page that is automatically generated. So if I click on welcome, now this is the default name to the page that is created by Fusion HQ and the Fusion Pages app. So it's just going to take a little bit of time to load up, but there it is. You can see now uh, I can start editing this page. And so if I move, I can move this um, toolbar around and I can start adding things onto this page. So all I do is grab and drag. Uh, drag and drop some text onto this page and then I'm able to double click and edit it um, so let's just call this my new page and I can highlight that I can center it I can choose from a variety of different styles and you can see in here we've also got um, a, a whole heap of Google fonts that are available for you to use. So again, you don't need to worry about being web compatible. Compatible. So I'm just going to change the size, and there we go. So now I've got my new page, and basically that's it. All you need to do is keep adding uh, 
blocks of images or text or basically whatever you want onto the page. So for example I could add a product image in here, um, one of our courses that we have. So I've now got that on site on the page. I could drag and drop video or audio onto the page. I could create a uh, page elements which are our little boxes that go on the page but basically I'll leave you to experiment. The other thing in there for those of you who are not familiar with Fusion HQ and the way that our page builder works is we've also got this space box and this space just enables us to create space between uh, blocks on the page so I can just move and drag and drop uh, the, the space and I can also click on here and click duplicate and just move that up so now that I have a second block here. And that's pretty much it. You can see uh, basically it's up to your imagination on how you choose to create your page. Once you're done, just simply click Save. And to make it public, just click on Public. Now this is uploading this website now to our server. So we're taking care of all of that for you. Just close the box down and this is already live uh, but you're going to see this edit box up here simply because uh, you're still logged in as the owner of this page now anybody else who comes to this page is not going to see this bar it's only for you as the page owner however I can close this down so this is now closing the editor and I can hide the bar so now you can see exactly what it looks like uh, to everybody else as well. Um, now if you want to, you can come back in the future and click edit here. And that one will enable you to edit your page again. Now the other thing that we need to do on this page is to, uh, if you want to, to change the name. By default, these pages are called welcome. So what I need to do is just go into edit info and come down to the left hand menu and click apps so you can see here I'm looking for apps and we can come down and we can go to edit settings this is our fusion pages app here so I just need to click edit settings and now it's going to ask me for a custom tab name so I'm just going to call it my custom fan page and I'm just going to save that and OK now if I go back to my home page and you can see here I can go to my Fusion HQ pages and inside it is my custom fan page. There we go. You can see I've changed the name and it's going to load it up and again because I've gone into it and refreshed it you're going to see it load o loads up automatically in edit mode when you are logged in um, as the page owner so just to remind you again and make sure that you're clear if somebody else comes to this page they won't see any of this um, and so that's it you don't need to even leave, leave Facebook now to create your own Facebook fan pages it's all free it's all just simple drag and drop, drop technology um, so the one other thing that you might want to do is just set this page as the home page for your, uh, your fan page here. So if somebody comes to this particular page from your, your home account page account, then it will show this by default. Normally, um, Facebook sets it so that the wall is your default. So to change that, you simply click on Edit Info. So come into here, go to Manage Permissions, and then it says default landing tab and there you can see the wall is selected by default and all I'm going to do is come down and select my custom fan page and I can now save those changes and that means that anybody who's not logged in as myself if they come here and they click on the Fusion HQ page then this will show up as my home page. As I say, it's not going to do that right now because I'm logged in as admin. I haven't filled this data in yet. Um, but for anybody else who's not logged in as me, they will see that uh, now coming up as the default page. So that's it. That's how you create a customized fan page or a customized page, whatever you want to call it, inside of Facebook.